Hello and welcome to the part 21 of my F1 2024 F1 season simulation. Uh, if you missed the last part, part 20, the Mexican Grand Prix, make sure to check that one out before watching this video. Uh, that was an interesting Grand Prix. Obviously, we have di didn't have the champions decided yet, but it may be this Grand Prix. It's uh, mathematically likely as well that we could get both championship seal in this Grand Prix. Uh, yeah, in terms of weather, it looks very, very weird. Um, like 30% chance of rain for every single session, pretty much. So, yeah, could, be, could, bring, us, could bring some spice for sure. Just uh, weird, weird. Could be, could be changing from session to session, pretty much. Anyways, uh, in terms of upgrades, there are pretty much no upgrades. Uh, as this late, this late in the season, uh, teams only could you know, update per once per five Grand Prix, for example. Uh, so that's how I set it up. Um, yeah, those upgrades. Yeah, this is this is it. And I I wanted to add a tab that would show just how much how, how many points uh, Max and Red Bull need to win the championship in this Grand Prix. But I chose not to to make it more interesting that way. Uh, it could be a surprise towards the end of the video. Obviously, uh, let's get into SQ one. This is the final. Actually, it's not the, the final, it's the second last sprint race of the season, as the last is the penultimate race in Qatar, I believe. So, sprint race now, then it's the normal Las Vegas Grand Prix, then it's a sprint race in Qatar, and then the last race in Abu Dhabi. So, it's Q1 in Brazil. Actually, it's Checo Perez who tops the session uh, provisionally, and SQ1. With Charles Leclerc in P2, Max was in P3, Lance Stroll P4, Hamilton P5, uh, Fernando Alonso P6, Sainz P7, Russell P8, George, uh, sorry, uh, George Russell P8, yeah, uh, Logan Sarger P9, and Esteban Ocon in P10, Vince Piastri P11, Gasly P12, Ricardo P13, uh, P14, and Tsunoda uh, in the last, uh, last drive to get into Q2 at this condition. Uh, Alex Album, Magnussen, Bottas, Joe, and Norris with no time set uh, uh, as of this moment provisionally out in Q1 or SQ1, I should say. Uh, Norris with reliability issues, unfortunately, uh, couldn't set a time in this session, which is very unfortunate for the British driver in the McLaren. As we can see, there are no changes for final classification of SQ1. As Albon, Magnussen, Bottas, Joe, and Norris are out in SQ1 here in Brazil. Let's get into SQ2. As we have Carl Sainz stopping the session out of Max Verstappen, it's Alonso, Perez, Leclerc, Hulkenberg, Gastry, Hamilton, Stroll, and George Russell in P10. Okay, this is very interesting. Hulkenberg in P6 somehow with an extremely small gap from P6 to P11. It's like 700 of a second. Pretty much no, no gap there. Uh, literally, um, anyone from the sixth place to eleventh place could have been anywhere in that in the in that margin. Uh, P12 and P13 for the Alpine drivers, and P14 P and P15 for the Racing Bulls drivers. As both a both teams aim to get points in this in this Grand Prix. Um, yeah, Sergeant just misses out on SQ3 provisionally. Uh, let's see, there are any changes. So there are no changes for this one, so our in SQ2 in Brazil, it's Logan Sargent, Esteban Ocon, Pierre Gasly, Yuki Tsunoda, and Daniel Ricciardo. Uh, so I want to apologize for my voice if it's a bit weird. I haven't I haven't drunk it in a while. Um, I'm basically dehydrated when I'm recording this video, so I'm sorry for that. Anyways, let's get into SQ3. So we have Checo Perez provisionally topping SQ3. Then thousands of a second. Had a max of happened eleven thousand of a second. Had a Charles Leclerc. This may be the closest top three we've had so far. This in the simulation, eleven thousands of a second separating top three in this session. We press had a, had a max, very impressive. Uh, Carl Sainz pretty close behind as well. This Alonso in P five, George Russell P six, Stroll P seven, Piastri P eight, uh, Hamilton P nine, and Nico Hulkenberg only can manage a P ten after that great SQ two. Um, yeah, let's see if there are any changes. Uh, there are no changes for, no, for the final classification of Sprint Shootout 3, which means that Checo Perez lines up on ball position for the Brazilian Sprint. Uh, and yeah, let's recap the Sprint Grid 
for Brazil, as we have Perez lining up in first place, and it's Max Verstappen P2, and it's Leclerc, Sainz, Alonso, Russell, Stroll, PS3, Hamilton, Hulkenberg, Sargent, Ocron, Gasly, Sunoda, Ricardo, Albon, Magnussen, Bottas, Show, and Norris starting in last. Let's see the sprint results. So we have Checo Perez winning his, I believe that's his second race uh, this season, even though it's a sprint. Still classify as a race, I guess. Uh, and yeah, uh, impressive, impressive uh, turnaround for Checo to actually do well in a in the Grand Prix for wins. Charles Leclerc, good job, Max Verstappen in the sprint to get P two as Max Verstappen completes the Grand Prix for Red Bull uh, as they get one free in the sprint. Carl Sainz completes the checkerboard of for Red Bulls and Ferraris, stays in P four. Alonso stays in P5, then Stroll jumping up his place to P6, so good for Aston Martin. Then it's P7 for Russell, P8 for Hamilton, so uh, a few points there for the Mercedes drivers. Then it's P9 for Gasly, just outside the points, then P3 in P10 drops from drop from points in the sprint. Sergeant P11 stayed the same, as well as Ocon, then it's Albon P13 who made up three places. Hockenberg dropped four places in the Haas, uh, 11... Uh, Sorry, uh, 15th place, Snuda drove one place, Norris could only manage to get up by four places in P16, P17 for Daniel Ricciardo dropped by two positions, then it's Magnussen in P18 dropped by one place, uh, Valtteri Bottas dropped by one place as well, as well as Joe in P20 now. Uh, no DNFs in the sprint whatsoever, so all drivers finished, and you have no disturbances to the race itself as well. So yeah, let's get into Q1 then, as it's the provisional Q1 standings, Alonso tops the session, head of Max Verstappen and Charles Leclerc in P3, then it's PS3, Stroll, Perez, Sainz, Albon, Norris, Hulkenberg, Gasly, Ricardo, Bottas, Hamilton and Russell, with the Mercedes drivers very close to being knocked out, as unfortunately Ocon is getting knocked out provisionally in P16, Joe P17, Sergeant P18, so could not repli replicate that amazing pace from sprint shootout. Magnussen, P19, and Yugi Tsunoda starting in last. This was a very great session because spring, spring shootout uh, as a whole was a very sunny, very hot. Uh, this is pretty much the, uh, the entire opposite. It was very overcast with a small glimpse of light rain throughout the session as well. So drivers were not fully comfortable in these conditions. They're, they're very different from the practice session and the sprint shootout as well as the sprint race. Uh, that happened earlier in the, the day, which is Saturday still. Uh, and yeah, this is probably not very relevant up to true pace as we as we saw what basically happens whenever it's completely sunny, just uh, regular weather for, for example, that was a sprint race and sprint shootout. But yeah, uh, here we're provisionally out in uh, Q1, our Ocon Show, Sergeant Magnuson and Sunoda. Let's see if there are any changes. Because there are changes, there are actually three changes. Uh, three deleted lap times for George Russell, Yuki Tsunoda, and Oscar Piastri. Oscar Piastri, unfortunately, also had the previous lap time deleted. Uh, unfortunately, that was slow anyway, but it was deleted. <laughs> so, I, I mean, yeah. Uh, Tsunoda was P20 before, got, got his lap time deleted, and uh, actually went up a place because uh, I mean <laughs> what and George Russell get, got his lap and little but only uh, yeah it was by like three positions uh, the drop even though uh, the the previous lap time was like one or one and a half tenths slower so out in Q1 officially are Logan Sargent George Russell Kevin Magnussen Yuki Sinner and Oscar Piastri definitely an unexpected at Q1 exits there so we see Q2, we have Max Verstappen topping the session ahead of the two Aston Martin cars, Stroll ahead of Alonso, wow. It's uh, Ocon in P4, uh, very strong for the Alpine. P5 for Alex Albon, very impressive. P6 for Charles Leclerc uh, in the Ferrari. P7 for Pierre Gasly, so both Alpines in the P7. So they channeled their Q2 magic this season once again. P8 for Lewis Hamilton, P9 for Carlos Sainz, and P10 for Checo Perez just making it through into Q3 after a pole position for a sprint. Uh, seems like he doesn't uh, he doesn't suit these positions, which are 
uh, on a much slippery track in much colder conditions. Um, another driver who doesn't like these conditions seems seems like in their car right now is Lando Norris, just outside the top ten in this in this Q2 session provisionally. Bottas has P12, so these uh, sour cars seem to like this condition. On the other hand, uh, P13 Ricardo, P14 Hulkenberg, uh, P15 Gwen Cho. So yeah, let's see if there are any changes for this session. And there's only one change, and that is Charles Leclerc getting his lap time deleted. Uh, unfortunately, drops to, uh, all the way down to P13. So knocked out in Q2 officially are Valtteri Bottas, Daniel Ricciardo, Charles Leclerc, Nico Hulkenberg, and Gwen Cho. Uh, yeah, interest, interesting top six, let's say, like that. First happens Stroll, Alonso, Ocon, Albon, Gasly. <laughs> yeah, Q3 may be interesting as well. We'll see as we get into Q3. Uh, as we have Carl Sainz stopping the session for, uh, wow, <laughs> okay. Not, not, didn't expect that. Perez in P2, uh, Max Verstappen in P3. So Perez beating Max, Max Verstappen despite having uh, a seemingly huge gap in the first two qualifying sessions on Saturday. Last year, once again ahead of Alonso in this provisional standings. Then it's uh, obviously Alonso in P5, two Alpines, both in P7. Great showing from them. Uh, Gasly ahead of Ocon. Then it's Norris in P8, uh, who luckily made it through. And Lewis Hamilton P9, and Alex Albon unfortunately didn't have any fresh tires available and finished in P10. So yeah, uh, this is the uh, sorry, this is the provisional one. Let's see if there are any changes for the final. As there are no changes, which I I forgot, <laughs> I thought there were actually changes. Never mind. There are no changes for this classification. So this is how it, things stand. Uh, let's recap the grid. As we had Carl Sainz lining up on pole position for the Brazilian Grand Prix. Checo Perez in P2, Verstappen in P3, Lance Stroll P4, Alonso P5, Gasly P6, Ocon P7. Lionel Norris in P P8, Hamilton P9, and Alex Albon starting in top 10 uh, in P10. P11, Bottas, uh, very good qualifying from him as well. Uh, P12, Daniel Ricciardo. P13, Charles Leclerc. P14, Nico Hulkenberg. P15, Guan Yu Zhou. P16, Logan Sargent. P17, Russell. P18, Magnussen. P9, Sunoda. And uh, starting in last is once again a McLaren. This time it's Oscar Piastri uh, in P20. So yeah, let's see uh, the Brazilian Grand Prix, and we have Max Verstappen winning the Brazilian Grand Prix from Checo Perez. Uh, uh, Max Verstappen also got a fast slap, and Alonso is in P3, uh, making up two places. So that's the podium, a uh, very very similar podium to uh, to the one that, for example, we could have had in 2023, but it was. Uh, at the time, it was Landon or is in front of Perez Alonso fight. So technically, uh, is a different one, but still, it's uh, Alonso in P3 and Max Verstappen P1, just like in uh, in last year. Uh, Stroll with impressive P4. So Aston Martins, just like last year, seem to like this track uh, on the Sunday. P5 for Charles Leclerc. So a very good recovery from Charles, uh, making up eight places. Pierre Gasly in P6, so good points from Alpine there. P7 for Lando Norris. See, like the McLarens and Mercedes cars didn't really like this track uh, this weekend. P8 for Lewis Hamilton. P9 for Ocon, so double points finish for Alpine. Seems like they, they secure their place in the constructors in sixth place already. P10 for George Russell with the final point playing position. P11 just outside the points. This was Kopiash 3, who made it nine places, but missed on points just just by a bit. P12 for Daniel Ricciardo, P13 for Alex Albon, P14 for Yuki Tsunoda, and P15 for Logan Sargent. And it's the checkerboard of the two slowest car, cars on the grid, Bottas, Hulkenberg, Show, and Magnussen. And Carl Sainz in P20. Uh, not, not P20, he's actually DNFing from the race. Apologies for that, it should, should be uh, shouldn't be a 20 as a number there, but uh, it doesn't matter. Safety car brought out by the uh, by Science DNF, which was caused by a mechanical failure. Unfortunately for Science, who's having a lot of bad luck this season. And yeah, this is this one is very, very, very unlucky as he DNF'd from a pole position uh, for this Grand Prix. So unfortunate. Okay, let's see how this affected uh, the driver championship. As we have Max Verstappen. Uh, winning the Grand Prix, which means that he just clinched the World Driver Championship 
Actually, it wasn't just clinch. Uh, I mean, he was one point away from winning it in the sprint. So if if Alonso had uh, dropped one more place in the sprint, uh, it would have been Max champion in the sprint. But this time, it's in the Grand Prix. So after the Grand Prix, Max Verstappen is crowned the champion of the world once again for the fourth time in a row. And yeah, his fourth world championship won in Brazil this time. 372 points, six, six victories so far, so not that high of a victory count, but those other stats are impressive still. 14 podiums, uh, the most consistent driver by, out of any for sure. Nine, po nine pole positions, so very good qualifying pace from Max there, and 12 fastest laps, so seems like Max was very good in the races as well, but those wins just didn't come, come true, unfortunately. P2 for Alonso uh, so far, 250 points, 3 victories, 8 podiums, 3 poles, and 2 passes laps. Lana Norris uh, hangs on in P3, just out of Charles Leclerc, who closed the gap a bit. Uh, 3 victories for Norris, 227 points, 7 podiums, 2 poles, and a fastest lap. P4 for Charles Leclerc, 2 points behind Norris, so 225. 3 victories, 4 podiums, 2 poles, and 4 fastest laps. Jacob Perez jumps Oscar Piastri. Uh, and I want to mention Oscar Piastri was looking very, very good in the championship uh, in the early parts of the season. Uh, he was actually very, very close to leading the championship, unless he was actually leading, which I don't remember quite, quite, uh, quite sure. Uh, anyways, Jacob Perez now in the top five of the championship uh, after a great weekend in Brazil here, as he won the sprint, got the pole position for the sprint, and got P2 on the on the grid and P2 in the race. Uh, just behind his world champion Max, uh, so very good weekend from Perez being there, getting the points for Red Bull, which could mean something as well. Uh, as we'll show later, one victory for Perez and six podiums so far this season. Piastri dropping to P6, 186 points, two victories, five podiums, three poles, and the fastest lap. Uh, P7 for Russell, 175 points, victory, seven podiums. Uh, Carl Sainz P8. 165 points, still tied with Hamilton, by the way, it's on count back as of this moment. Uh, victory, five podiums and two pole positions. Lewis Hamilton on the other hand, one victory, two podiums and fast slap. Stroll in 100, uh, sorry, Stroll in 10th position, 116 points and two podiums. Uh, good weekend by Stroll as well. Uh, need to mention that. P11 for Esteban Ocon, uh, who's only, only one point now ahead of Pierre Gasly. Who's in P12 on 54 points and a podium 13th for Yuki Sonoda 53 points. So still in the fight for P11 in the championship. Alex Albon P14, 19 points and a podium. P15 for Nico Hulkenberg, 18 points and a podium. Sergeant P16 with 16 points still. Then a Ricardo P17 with 15 points. 18th place for Valtteri Bottas, 5 points. Magnussen 19th place and a singular point and a driver. Yet to score points in the simulation and the season is Guan Zhou in P20 on zero points. So yeah, let's see the constructors as we have Red Bull winning the constructors title once again. They're third in a row and seventh overall in their history uh, as a team. Uh, wow, 577 points after uh, after the Brazilian Grand Prix in 58. A very very impressive and dominant weekend by them. Uh, only missed out on pole position out of any statistic in this Grand Prix, pretty much. Uh, yeah, 577 points, seven, seven victories, so the best team of uh, by every statistic, pretty much. 20 podiums, nine pole position, and 12 fastest lap for the Red Bull team. Um, uh, yeah, a lot of the stats are carried by Max, but Checo has been adding uh, some numbers for him as well. Uh, just not as consistent as as quick as Max, unfortunately. P2 for McLaren still uh, now 23 points out of Ferrari, but the gap is closing, so the fight could still be on. Three races to go. Uh, 413 points for McLaren, five five victories, 12 podiums, five poles, and two passes laps. We have Ferrari in P3, 390 points, four victories, nine podiums, four pole positions, and four passes laps. Aston Martin now with a bit of a gap. Uh, over Mercedes, 366 points in P4, 3 victories, 10 podiums, 3 poles, and 2 fastest laps. Mercedes uh, lost their touch with Aston Martin, but still the gap is not that big, even to Ferrari McLaren, for example. 
Two extra race, 340 points, and nine podiums for Mercedes. We have a lab as well. Uh, Alpine, 109 points in P6, uh, with a huge gap over racing bulls now. So I don't think uh, anyone can challenge them behind them. So Alpine, congratulations to another mid-season. <laughs> 109 points and a podium. Uh, Racing Bulls team, 68 points uh, in P7, 35 points for Williams in P8 and a podium. Uh, ninth place for Haas, 19 points and a podium. And a place for Sauber with 5 points. So this is the constructor standings after the Brazilian Grand Prix after round 21. Uh, both championships sealed now, so it's just a battle for P2, P4, and uh that's pretty much it i don't think there are any more fights about from that so uh we are gonna aim at the mclaren v ferrari fight and uh, aston martin v mercedes fight for the next uh three races pretty much as uh, so both champions are sealed yeah and congratulations to max Verstappen and red bull uh as they won championships both championships uh uh in this race and the race itself in this grand prix uh the simulation <laughs> Okay, okay, so it's not waffling, so uh, let's uh, see the next Grand Prix, which is the last Vegas Grand Prix once again. Uh, the first debut race they had in 2023 was a pretty good one, so uh, I'm hopeful for this track. Obviously, I still don't have uh, the track char characteristics laid out as I have for the pretty big trucks. This is a new track, so I have to uh, dig a bit deeper towards the track layout, how it's, how it's going to work and how it's going to affect the teams uh, and their car performance, but essentially, yeah, Las Vegas uh, should come out either tomorrow or the day after, as testing is very soon, and I only have three episodes to do with the recap, obviously, but uh, that can be done during the testing as well. Yeah, no, I don't really want to upload two videos today, even though I wanted to before, just don't feel like it, I, I just want to keep the uploads uh, separated. Uh, as I prefer that way. Anyways, uh, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe, like the video, and comment down below what you want to see from my content moving forward. And as always, see ya.